What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his full A wife. He isn't. When did this? When doesn't this happen with a. Join his. And see that. Oh, very generous of you. There you are, Gunner. And with a smile I haven't seen in some time. Eivor, over here. Eivor, thought I smelt you on the wind. Gunner, with this... I have. This... It takes a rare woman to nail... Lavendine, da. Uh, good... How did you find a woman? She came through the settlements. She offered me a trade. A... Have you? That mama dad carried Evan Gillis. Breaks with man power. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Dim Jolch, you two are Right, no daylight to waste. So the elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking vikinger. They come from all over to celebrate Sawan. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Sawan? Is that what these cab roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's spring a few back. <laughs> There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is it. Tevdur. Ah, yes. Duh. Me to ride in on a winged horse. Cure the sick. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Have I wronged you? I'm here only for the wedding. Where I come from, we do not poison the well of friendship so swiftly. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated godright kings for puppet rulers? I'm here as a friend to Gunnar. I do not like to make enemies when breaking bread. So tread careful, boy. A apples! Eivor, wait! <sighs> ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our- At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry! So, you've come to meet the family. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hot. I must give away girl and land in this misty. If you will excuse. Ah, yes, the shrine. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime without even the memory of. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to say My lady love calls. Go, mate. I have a hand fast. <clears throat>
sour. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. A festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill. But the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around... It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenhelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Lo, in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? I... Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've... That sounds like a tale. Please, Eivor. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant, your greatest gift. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer. And yet you insist on doing so. Tefter, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? <laughs> Fell the swine! Was close. Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe... Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by... More likely the shrine is... Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I... We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. I gave Kuna. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one, find me at the festivities. Eivor, there you are. Here I am. So? Escorted to after odd, but Puff and I usually serve. But you saved his hide. I... I kept my word to Kunan. Restraint, Eivor? I was half ex... I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Teftir. I need a drink. Try the cider. Skull. Skull. So you invite... Nigwiskel and Vela Sprudjan and Creatures of the Vale. Gloucester gives their gla... Freely given. Then we turn you into... It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Lubed. Now, that's Hooden. Become the Mary Lubed, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering. But even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Shame. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I'll fill your shop with sheep. That house for sure. Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewitt. Sow in night and the moon in... The air is chill. Oh, ghosts and beasts. 
Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some... Aid me. Be my eyes. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I... Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road from my... Hope to God. Ah. Uh. Uh, lads getting into their cops, oh, scaring the wee ones. Get it. Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our stores so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this, Gunnar. My cakes. You are Ader Fairly. Fitting name for scavenger. I'll pick. Gunnar, we. Ugh! You seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, I'm tall. Enough! Keep your brawls to the other side of the river. There's children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. To look us. Modron's a compass to patch this lawn. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on some wind. But I fear for the fifteen of fall. Regardless of poise of poor. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing. Gwyneth, my love, go back. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms, just... I give me strength. My mom Modron is known. I'm a humor toe. I'm glad you all... Modron. You do not have to save his leg. I'll understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Eivor, there you are. Tefty, you're well met. Join us. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as... For a shaveling of the... Not every tonsured man is a... To holy... So slow. That's foul. Don't hurl into the barrel, okay? You're a bit green, friend. You're going to start. Come on, lad. Show the dame your metal. You're sweating. Of all the elder... None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world. Death. I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. 
They hope well-fed gods... A toast, then, to Elderman Coonan, joyous and gen... My friends, you are kind to me. Weak. Where is this? <laughs> this good. Give me visions of all. Wow, that tastes all. They all speak true. A colossal. Soft words. Only fiercer than. F <laughs> Tevter, with Gunner and Bridget's marriage. I'll oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. Yeah! The greatest. The treaty! <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <coughs> silly words to scare silly children. Ha! <laughs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps... I judge too much. Proves I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. A great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh. Here we are, right inside here. Tefter! Tefter! Efter, where are you? Hell's breath. What happened last night? Ugh. And the effects of that draft still cling. Tefter! Are you here? Tefter's bodyguard, killed by knife. This pot has been broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood could be Tefter's if he was the heavy thing being dragged. Muddy footprints. Someone was hiding back here. What's happened here? Open this door! Come out of there! Quilla. 
Adam's pouch. I wonder if it still has his little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here. Lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards. And to disable Tifa. And they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Gwillem's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwillem's special something. Maybe Mother Mordren will know the contents. There she is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests. And now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye. Your Raven clan... Get the murderer! There is Mordran up ahead. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember. Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwilym poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! Damn Christ, sons, what is it they want now? They make this place unlivable for pagans. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewin. Yes. Halewin's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I have business at Rollandrich. Find me there later. Spirit, you have finally come. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? Whatever you are, the spirits of straw have burst into flame as herald of your arrival. Come, come this way. Speak to me, O oh wind. I have come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I'm a spirit as any other. Very well. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? Me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. Speak to me, O oh wind. Have you found yourself? Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? The Skull Soul's charm summons voices from... In such fashion I speak to druids long dead. But of course you were spirit. Which charm summons aid for maidens? Maidens in... Sabri Tell me, oh... The Adam... The upturned blade. <laughs> you are a spirit. No, just the answer to a question. This herb pouch made its way to Glowichester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuthladrin. Kuthladrin? 
<clears throat> Very well. I thank you, Halloween. But this spirit has other... Go with the... Good Ladrin. Strange name. Meanwhile, Modron awaits me at the stones nearby. I can see Modron ahead. Modron, well met. Gods, someone save me. A murderous Dane is here to sever my head from my neck. You could have told me of your plight earlier. We are both friends of Bridget, and I know you would do nothing to jeopardize your friend. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I... A sorry tale. He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Ladrin. Name of Gwilim. He was drinking with Teftir and myself. Kuth Ladrin is the Welsh name for the thieves' warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. Tevder's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope... Let us make haste then. I must find Gwilim. This forest in all Gloucestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. Do you think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevder's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch. Open to wisdom from the gods. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sword. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Kuthladrin, the thieves' warren. This is where I leave you. You'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Kunin, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit sell swords you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice and scapegoat, Gwilim. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kun. Why would Kunan pay to have... We ain't ones for details. You chose to extort the man, but you have... Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to lie, having him around. Tell her! Tell her we... Kunan did this? Oh, gods, is he dead? Well, ah. move forward. Ah. Look, Eivor, we may speak again. Tafter will need to see... Thank you for your aid, then. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. It is much appreciated. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my death. I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask him myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we, living in kindness under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces, it matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. This scrape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. He's hurt to the touch, and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. I know not why, only that he gave... They were all... Men do... Does not the... If he made the... Then he's not... I'm a very good healer. I will reveal his... The man tarnished your name, and you would let him live? Shame for shame. You are resolute. Thank you, Mo. I must get to Coop. Where are you, Kunan? He isn't here. But someone else may have seen him. Bridget is here. <sighs> Eivor! Finally, Tiri de Hwaled.
Bridget, uh, it is good to see you. Eivor, what has become of Tevder? Did you find your scarf? Uh, thank you. I have found Tevder alive and safe. I need to speak to Kun- Bridget! I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters! I'm going to take it home to Mother! If you cattle it, then the Babans will do it in all a lay got- It's you again! The Sowan Butcher! The Sowan Butcher? Never mind. Gwyneth, <clears throat> I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick, and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... three. Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Church ladies. They don't like the festival. But Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Right. Gotta keep my eye. Ah, the crate. Yes, yes, come this way. Good you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. Snake tongue. Eivor! <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We are done with this shadow play. Tefter is safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your step. You think I mean to escape the flames? But I will not leave Glowerchester and Then what? Leave your people. They won't be Are you telling <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? All to take control of Glowerchestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to- There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and- Everything. You and Mothran. Then Gwynedd. A man must get- Then make your peace with God, Britain. For shitting on my name. I'm to be dead within the wicker man by Samhain's end. I bet- You and the witch. This was your plan. ...to make me dance your merry tune. I always desired Modron. Our union conceived not only Gwenev, but a united Glowerchestershire. What- This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of- Not just I, the- Shit. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder. I have much to it. You should not have fucked with me, Kunan. To Alfheim. I stepped into Alfheim. This is a new realm entirely. Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. Turn to soil! <sighs> uh. 
do it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your do you doubt the power of your gods to sway the mind of a man? A man will lie to save his skin. When you Kunan spoke of your vision, the Nornir spin their fatal threats. Then have no regrets. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sully. Kunan is dead for your lies. Your wicker man will burn empty. Mother? What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No, we are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elder Man yet, Tefter, despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? Kunan was behind the attempt on your life. Modron brought you here. Your wounds should heal by the next moon, if you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. Gunner, it's... I thought this could be our shared side. Worry not. Yeah, a tale. Ha! Anything. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king. And then be... Yes. Bridget and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. The burning of the Harvest King. It is a momentous occasion for many here. Like the Christ, he sacrifices himself for his people. So that they may... But this is an empty platter for your gods. None can take Kunon's place. And to put his corpse in the pyre would be an insult. Christ turns his eyes from this ritual. But you condone it. I am to be Tevda of a united land. I can no longer... Elderman Tevder. Mother Modron. So you two will form an accord. Heathens and Christkin in an uneasy truce. The pagans of Gloucester are my people, just as the children of Christ are. And our alliance. Strong as iron. And someone. Let the flame be set! <laughs> Bloody pagans! Seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. Good day, my love. I can hardly begin to describe what happened. But we are at. Yes.
What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? According to my sc- I will- An alliance in- You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. If he is away, I will speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor, for I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You do not strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances. I am weary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be one such affair is why we could. If I can find him. I will remind- Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite heart- With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I will re- They were caught off guard as they supped. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Beerston still lives. Beerston! Ready your weapon, or accept your fate as a feast for bears. Do not let them charge you. Fort, friend. I would not have survived this ambush without you. You have my gratitude to stumble upon. I am Estrid Sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit was. And make the beast lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my callous. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. 
There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There is pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your things in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beeston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about your Beeston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You must mark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub. I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people. Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adrid, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Are they men or babes? If Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his men home in shrouds. Ah, we should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex once a thriving kingdom of its own? We should fight! Yes, fight! And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? Often should one make an early meal, nor fasting come to the feast. The feast, yes. The festival! This is not for full bellies, but to bless the loaf. Does that not bring us all good fortune? And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The field. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Do they not defend your land? You'll need all the men you can muster to fight the coming wars. The Danes are a great threat when provoked. Those we cannot ally with, we must fight or lose our lands. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Eivor. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Beerstan. 
whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Spearston. Are you not worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. I noticed your love has gone sour. Was it fresher than this? <laughs> there is so little difference between love and hate, it's difficult to say where the sourness comes from. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I am too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Then what is stopping you? Your King Alfred? Ours was not a union of love, but necessity. Decreed by Alfred's father to strengthen ties with Frankia. Not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Frankia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Evo. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Evo. The only thing that keeps my breath. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvida. My childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I believe she lived in the last house in Malden. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I- Now, should I look for Alvida first? i meet with Estrid at the marketplace. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex? Now here's a day riddled... What is your name? I'm Ellerich, the man of this house. Who are you? And why have you come? I'm looking for your sister, at the behest of another. Behest? We got no money to speak of, and my sister is well past the marrying age. Do you know where they're holding Alvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. <laughs> You're not one of them. Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? 
who risked so much to save me. A friend. Of Elrich's? Is he all right? The poor boy? Not your brother. Someone else who wishes to rekindle a... a friendship. Bless the saints! Here you are, sister, safe and well. Rest now. Soon you'll be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshine milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. I am here at the request of Elderman Birsten. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Birsten, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife Estrid returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the elder man... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He will come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he will ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. Give her time, Birsten. A passion rekindled in haste will soon fall to embers. Of course. You are absolutely right. And we have a lifetime to recapture what was mislaid. I hope it will not take that. And this young lad is Elevich, Olvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Birsten. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elovrich, I would suggest the long, slow walk around the lake. Now to plan the kidnap. Estrid waits for me. Dear Beerston, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. I never stopped thinking of you, Alvida. Yeah. They are. Though time will tell if the fire is rekindled. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You have lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. Have you always missed Frankia? I have. Or rather, I miss the woman I was when I lived there. Somewhat freer and more hopeful. And what of our plan, the Great Lama's Kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing... Revelers with... M and what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just... This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon. A Dane. Though Adred calls you raiders, 
He says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah! It must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that the light hangs in the sky. I rode for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfer, called Rollo in my tongue. He may take some... Co I will bring him round by force or persuasion. Just be ready for my... Rolo! Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rolo. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Good day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! We found your camp, Dane! Your friend. Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. No! What is this? Why are my people... It's worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor? Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father. Gerhild, is it? I, Rollo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You were not here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Who are you to Rollo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not swear. I hear envy. But of Estrid or Rolo, I can't... You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is... That is all, for now. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield... Lork, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? Where were you when the sack... Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild, talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but what? Why should I believe you? You could ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since. How long has your? I owe his father a blood oath. And if Rollo was dead, that I'll feast in Odin's hall one. 
I have what I need for now. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rolo's clan. I might find some evidence to test their stories. I should speak to both and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. No need to hunt when the camp is full of fresh kills. This looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting, as Lorch did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lork said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Gerhild betrayed you. No! That's not true! Rolo, I beg you! A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow. Beak pricking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might. St There's a Saxon camp with a dock. My thanks. I'm in your debt. Let's give the ravens a feast of Saxon blood! Your axe arm is strong, Rollo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout hearted in this, whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here, nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester, on the night of the Lama's Festival. How are your people, Rollo? Recovered and ready for what to- Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a- Put that aside. Wait for my signal. When I approach Estrid, that is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. Forgive my intrusion, but... They used to sacrifice John Barleycorn, so that his seed might fall on the fertile land and grow the grain anew. I don't care for that pagan pomp. There is just one god now, and he gives us everything we need. In this life and the next. Ah. And he, when the time comes... is like honey. Luscious as... I'm being kidnapped! Kidnapped! Guys! Guys! We are safe enough to walk, I think. Aren't we? 
Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the gods in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe with you? It's not in danger, if that's what you mean. Come. It is done. And all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rollo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if beer stands will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead. Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. I should find Pearson. No doubt he's hunting again. Sword to sword with your father, Roland. Yes! <laughs> what lies ahead, I wonder? A new life, or an old life renewed? My old life... Frankia... Mon Dieu, I... Sh Are you awakened now? Yes. These past weeks have been... You make too much of it. Why does your honesty make you more alluring still? Did you dream while you... I did. I dreamed that all my fleet... Lie with me, Eivor. Under the stars of England. Give me a last bittersweet moment before I leave her shores. I'll be with you tonight. But tomorrow your new life must begin. I hope you will not look back. Shh. Still your lips. And come here. There, there, old hound. Hold faith, for soon we'll be hunting. Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut, tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! What are we hunting now? Boar! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong-armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebolt. How wondrously strange! Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress. Beerston, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance will be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. 
We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lamas. Will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Alvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. A good hunt, Beerstein. And enough for one day, I think. They may give you grief. You have brought... Beerstein. Beautifully... Come, Percy. What are your plans for Essex and your family? Oh, Beerstein. You promised we would never be apart. Not for one waking or sleeping moment. Ha ha ha! For the feast, sweetling. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that Lamish shadow play? Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you, and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still. His wife freshly stolen, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never! <laughs> My lord! Joyous news! God smiles upon us this very day! Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times. Hush, Angel. Do not fret, so. He hates me. What have I done? We must go after him. He will not stray far, Lamb. Much has been said this day, but if... If he is my son, our son, we must believe he will return to us. Rolo! Alfred's men have found you! What? How can this be? Lork, stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she's taken, all is lost for us and Beeston. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! <laughs> Lork! Odin, no! Release the woman, Dave! If you run hard, we may let some of you live! Such Here, fuck the bastard! Eivor! Estrid, I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frankia awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter is past, Summer will come, and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty, and shall not wither. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Good. They are safe. Beerstein got his end of the bargain, and Esther is to Frankia. I should return to Ranvi. Good to s In Essex, I play the matchmaker and the heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance. But Understood.